Trey Benson's a guy that tested real well at the Combine, and he was a guy that I was probably going to have ranked real high before he even <laughs> did anything at the Combine. So I'm excited to get into the actual tape, man. Um, real familiar with his game, so we'll just get this started up right here. Not not a whole lot of introduction to do for him, but for me going into the Combine, he was already the most well-rounded back, and then kind of just got confirmed by what he did. I mean, he ran a 4.39, so you're not going to worry about that that long speed, that home run um home run ability like those those long run he can definitely rip them off and that's something that shows up in the tape as well you know already in the first play but i mean you can see him just you know wait for it to set here you know he's not some guys you'll see just try to hit it too soon but he lets it develop right there and then hits it And then he's got that that breakaway speed. It's it's gonna be hard to give him anything but a six after running a four three nine. But you gotta remember those scores are relative to the position. You know, for a receiver, not quite a six, but for a running back, I mean, you can't really expect anything more than a free four three nine. And you see, he runs with a low pad level here. Six foot, so he's not naturally real. Doesn't have that natural low center of gravity like you'll see guys like Bucky Irvin have. But you just see him stay low to the ground here, and you know he's a he's he's tough to tackle because he's well filled out both upper body, lower body, and you can see that just looking at him, like he's he's a he's a tough ass to tackle. So now you look for the athletic stuff, you know, how's this change of direction, short area quickness. Already sold on the long speed. Um, you see, he definitely just got that. He definitely has a second gear, but it's it's I think it's going to be hard to make a case against him for him not being the most well-rounded back in this class. You know, he's not as big as Brandon Allen. He's not as fast as some other guys, like that one Louisville running back, I guess, ran faster than him. But it's not going to change direction as well as uh, as Bucky Irvin is. But he's kind of everything rolled into one. And those are the guys that you see go early. So One thing I'll say is you kind of wish he would hit these holes a bit harder. Like I was saying, I was, I was commending his patience before, and, you know, obviously it worked out, I mean. But I think that explosiveness, that burst, is the one thing that's not going to be extremely high. He's got good enough. It's good enough, I think. But just let the tape roll here. Kind of wish you'd see him hit these a little bit harder sometimes, though. That's that's my only gripe with with him so far. But I mean, everything checks out, right? Um, just well-rounded back, like does everything real well. And I think he's one of the few guys in this draft that you can really say that about. Now, is he first rounder? It's 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 tough. You know, it's always tough to justify a taking a running back in the first round. You know, B. John and Jameer, those guys, like, I don't think he's quite in the same tiers as them from last year. But he's got everything you look for in a running back. So definitely a definitely a day two guy, definitely. Um, I'd be very surprised if he's still around in the third round. But not necessarily a guy I expect to go in the first round. But if there is a running back that goes in the first round, don't know who it is besides him. That stuff I'm not necessarily is, is you have to have. It's not a requisite to play running back. Those that that looked like a receiver right there. You know, being able to move your body like that. That's something certainly nice to have. I'm not taking a guy off my board if he can't do that. But I mean, this was like almost like this run better than some of the 60 yard runs. It was only a 12 yard run, but you know, just watch him navigate through. Everything here. You know, that first cut, real easy. That's one thing. It's, it's, it's no, no real wasted motion on his cuts. 
you know, so he's at three yards. Sees it again. Let's, you know, another hole develops. I don't even really know how you drill that. But, I mean, just take a look at his thighs, really. <laughs> you know, that's, it's, 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 can't tough, can't arm tackle this guy, right? You know, keep some churn in there. Should have a couple more plays here. I'll just I'll just let it run through, but I kind of already was sold on him before the video started. If you couldn't if you couldn't tell, but just wanted to reinforce just just double check, right? We're we're we're, we're checking our boxes. We're rounding our bases, so to speak. Now I would understand taking some other guys ahead of him. It's just kind of what you're looking for. But if you're looking for a real workhorse, you know, a guy that. I don't, I don't want to say could carry an offense, but he's not really a specialist like some of these other guys are. So just looking at his um, percentiles first for running backs, he's in the 70 percentile for height, 60 percentile for weight. So nothing, you know, that's, that's, that's a good category to be in, right? Arm length, not really concerned about as a running back. Hand size, I mean, unless it's egregiously bad, I'm not really concerned about it. But, you know, he's in the 94 percentile for, for, for 40-yard dash, so... Being a 70 percentile dude for height and then 94 percentile for ver for 40 yards, pretty impressive. Um, yeah, not nothing nothing too great on the vertical, nothing too ex crazy on the broad jump. You know, when I say he doesn't look explosive, I don't necessarily think that's an athletic thing. It's more of a more of a um, him just kind of being too patient. Like I, I think he could do it athletically. You know, kind of backed up by the numbers here, but. You know, when you when you ask him to run run in a straight line, you know, it's that's not the problem. It's just like yeah, you saw his his vision his decision making was a virtue in some aspects but sometimes it just takes a bit too long and i think that's kind of why i came up with that on the tape um so I'm not really sure who keontae ingram is got drafted two years ago that's his his combination um i mean all these guys are nothing nothing really interesting here i'm trying to see i'm kind of curious to see his physical comparisons but nothing really nothing really crazy here so so just flipping over to this one here, I'm gonna give him a f five on the frame. Um, really ideal, really nothing. Only thing like when I when I think of a six frame, I'm thinking like Braylon Allen. Like you just look at Braylon Allen, he's just physically dwarfs other guys. So I'm gonna give him a five on that one. Uh, vision and instincts, I'm giving him a five as well. Um, like I said, it looks really good, almost too good for his own his own good sometimes. Like maybe that's kind of docking should dick on dock on instincts you know vision and instincts aren't the same thing i just kind of roll them all into one run grade here um you know what i'm probably going to give him good grades on the rest of this stuff so i'm gonna give him a four on this one just because sometimes that kind of seemed to hold them back i'm gonna give him a five on the burst um like i said i don't i think athletically it looked fine it's just sometimes you kind of wish you'd hit him a bit harder kind of hard to not give him a six on the long speed when he ran a four three nine i mean he was what in the 95 percentile for for 40 yard dash and you know i'm not trying to be a slave to these to these 40 times to these combine times but it's also something that was reinforced on the film or showed up on the film reinforced by the 40 times so yeah i love that about him um i'm gonna give him round out on the fives here so yeah he's he's pretty easily i think gonna be the the highest running back i've i've given so far at, at that number um let me just double check where he is on this here so yeah, I don't think anybody really even got close. Like I think Ray Davis right now is is the closest. It's probably gonna stay that way. Um, all these other guys, like I said, like you see them have real high grades in in one thing, but then it's like you kind of worry about this other stuff, especially long speed with Brandon Allen. Um, you know, same similar deal with Bucky Irvin. You know, some things he does real good, but he's not really well rounded. You kind of see that as a 
bit of a recurring theme with the rest of these guys. I thought Will Shipley was was pretty pretty well rounded compared to the other guys, but just kind of like what you're looking for in a running back. And if you need a guy that can do everything, I 100% think that that um, Trey Benson's somebody to consider. Uh, don't think he's a first rounder. You know, he's the second guy to grade out with a first round gra- grade for me. Um, it's just. You know, it's it's a running back, you know, at the end of the day. If you had this kind of grade at any other position, Scott, you're taking the first round, no doubt. But, yeah, it's Trey Benson. Uh, let me know what you guys think about him um, at any other the running backs. Uh, I'm really curious to see what other people think of as their best running back in this draft. You know, there's never really a consensus at any position, you know, unless a guy's like a stud. But running back, I feel like very rarely is – I feel like more times actually out of not yet you have an idea who the best running back in the draft is like last year you knew Bijan was going first right um you knew uh Jameer was a first rounder I'm not really sure about this class it's kind of all over the place from what I'm what I'm gathering but I'm curious to see what you guys think so I appreciate it uh and yeah have a good day